The NFC, I'm Dan Thomas, joined by Ali Moreno and Stevie Nicker. We'll kick things off with reports in Europe suggesting that Paul Pogba's on his way back to Juventus. Revolution Pogba, says the front page of Tudor Sport. For more on this, oh, the French contingent are here. Julien Laurent and uh, Paul Pogba. Well, from a, from a, <laughs> Frank Leboeuf is with us as well. <laughs> nah. uh, Frank, from a French perspective, how excited are you to see Pogba back at Juventus? I am in a way that the last time that I saw him uh, being at 100% is the last season that he played for Juventus, so I'm expecting to see the, the same thing. But I know, you know, uh, going back to a club is not, a, is not, a, is not an easy thing. And uh, we saw that uh, uh, primarily with, uh, with, um, with Manchester United and Paul coming back to, uh, to Manchester. So uh, I don't like the word nostalgia. And it's a little bit of what I feel, you know, when you go back to a club every time you go back because you felt good, everything went well. But uh, then all, it's going to be another era. It's going to be another thing with different players. Uh, will it be as free as he was when he was playing with, uh, with the, the others and uh, under Allegri? Uh, hopefully yes, because his win is the best. I'm excited because I want to see Paul at his best, which wasn't the case the past two years. And that's it, J Jules. He's going back to a very different Juventus side. Very different, although same manager, but a team that is more struggling than the team that he first joined, well, it's nine years ago, almost, where they were very dominant. They had a midfield of Pielo, Marquisio, Vidal, and then him, four, four great players for, for three positions, really, in that 4-3-3 formation. So, yes, it will, be, it will be different, but he needs to bring his quality and his talent. This is a team that needs, needs that. They need someone like him. They need his leadership. They need his, his creativity. And I think this is, this is a good fit because he needed to change. He needed, he needed a change. At United, there were some good things, certainly early on, and then he got more and more, more difficult with the years. And after six years, I think he, he had to do something different. And Juventus is very different. This is a different challenge, especially at his age. He he's, he's turned 29 in, in March with the World Cup to come. But I think it would, it would be great for him to feel at home and to have that kind of relationship with, with the club and with the fans that were, were, were great when he was there the first time around. The reports are that what, Locatelli is the only midfielder that's guaranteed to be staying, Stevie. He's coming into a team that's in the middle of a massive transition. Is that the best role for him to be in? Absolutely not. That's kind of the situation he went into at Manchester United. Where the expectation on him in particular was he was going to be one of the main reasons that United were going to get back to competing at the very highest level. And he couldn't do it. And he's going to a Juventus side who, who, by the way, Serie A's CEO last week said that Serie A is pretty much the Serie B compared to the rest of Europe. The Milan. That Milan, was the Milan. I beg your pardon, Milan, Milan yeah. guy. So he's, the expectation on him is exactly what it was when he went to Man United. And he showed he couldn't, he couldn't do it. So the first day he walks through that door, or the first... The first game he plays in, when that whistle blows, everybody at Juventus, including the fans, are going to expect him to be the guy yeah. that pulls them up by the, by the boots. I don't know whether he can do it, even in Serie A. Can he carry that expectation, Jules? I think he can. I think he wants to as well. Certainly, that was one of the reasons why he wanted to go there. Uh, I think he wants those responsibilities. I don't think we can compare United and Juventus, even even in this current context for Juventus. This is this is a very different structure. Max Allegri is a much better manager than any of the managers that. Paul Pogba worked under United, even Jose Mourinho. So I, I think it's, it's, a very, it's a very different environment. And it's, it's a place that he knows so well, he would feel like he, he never left, really. It's the same training ground. Yes, of course, the players around would be different. Or some of the, there's not many that who were there in, the first, in his first spell at the club. But a lot of the rest would be, would be very similar. And again, he's very much looking forward to it. And, and I think he's right to. And he has to be that kind of attitude. He has to be willing to take all the responsibility. He will take the limelight because that's what he does. Marketing-wise, it's a great coup for Juventus who, who needed someone like him as well, you know, on that, on that aspect of the game. And then for the rest, I think we can trust him coming back to full fitness, coming back to his best level and having a, a very positive impact on that team and on the league.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.